Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am really really happy to start making videos again and as always before we start don't forget to subscribe down below it would really help me out and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. As my first video back I would actually like to talk with you about more of a serious topic and uh, something that happened to me a few months ago. The reason I'm doing this video is to show other people who might be in a similar situation that the things are not as bad as it may seem like. Uh, when I was alone in the hospital after the surgery, I was really lost, confused. I didn't know what to expect because I never had a surgery before. I went on YouTube and I tried to find other people's experiences just to know what they went through, what's the experience like, how long it takes to recover and stuff like that. And uh, to be honest, I didn't find as many videos. So I thought that this would be kind of useful and comforting for you guys out there. Don't worry, like I said, it's not as bad as it might look like. Yeah, without further ado, I think let's just get started with the video. And of course, if you have any questions around this topic, comment down below. I will try to answer all of your questions the best to my knowledge. Yeah, if I haven't included in the title, Basically, I had an ovarian torsion, which uh, means that my ovary was twisted around itself. And that was because I had a very big ovarian cyst. I knew about the existence of the cyst, but I was told to just wait. I was not actually alarmed. Um, I had done some research and I knew that cysts were pretty common for women of different ages. Everything happened in April and actually I was in Germany and the whole country was in total lockdown. I was not working, so of course I was just staying at home. I think it was around 12 or 1 o'clock uh, that I was in the bathroom and getting ready. I started to feel some sharp pain at my lower abdominal on the right side. And um, I thought it was a little bit weird, but I, in the first few minutes I tried to kind of ignore it and not make a big deal out of it. I actually stopped uh, doing everything I was doing in the bathroom and I went to uh, have a seat and kind of rest and breathe. And the funny thing is that actually right when I sat down, my parents called or my mom called. I kind of like was trying to keep up the conversation, but I just felt like it was getting worse and worse. So I told them to hold on, I will call them back and I will try to I don't know, manage the pain somehow. With each minute passing, uh, the pain was just getting worse and worse. And it actually became so unbearable that I couldn't like stand up straight. I couldn't do anything. And I was starting to get, to get pretty scared. I didn't know what it was. Uh, to be honest, I just thought it was appendicitis because I have never had it removed. And I didn't think about my cyst at all. I called my boyfriend and kind of asked for advice. He advised me to go to the hospital, then I called my mom. Uh, yeah, everyone kept telling me that the best thing is to go to the hospital since the pain was getting worse and worse. Because my boyfriend was at work, he was not able to drive me to the hospital. So his brother actually came to pick me up. Yeah, by the time I went downstairs to wait for my boyfriend's brother, the pain was so bad that I couldn't stand. I was literally on my knees, just middle of the street. I was in so much pain, I couldn't talk, I couldn't concentrate, I wasn't able to do anything. By the time we got to the hospital, which I think it took around 15 minutes by car, I literally crawled out of the car. I came to the reception area, just dropped all my IDs, cards, like insurance cards to the receptionist. And I just sat down on the floor and I just said, I cannot, I cannot handle anything. Here's all my information and like, please help me. Within seconds, um, there came around three, four doctors or nurses. They put me on the rolling bed and they took me to another room. Since this was happening during Corona, I actually got a Corona test, which turned out negative a few days after. Yeah, they were just trying to uh, figure out what it was. Um, they asked me a lot of questions. Yeah, they were doing some tests. They took some blood. They put IV to give me some painkillers, but actually none of it worked. And I was in severe, severe pain for like an hour and a half until I got the surgery. And just to show you how bad the pain was, I was lying down and I was literally screaming from pain and my body was shaking uncontrollably. And then the doctors actually told me that uh, they think that it's something gynecological. So I got an ultrasound and then when they said 
that I was I had like a click in the brain like oh damn my cyst later actually we talked with my boyfriend and he was like yeah I told you it was the cyst like uh, why didn't you tell the doctors but I was in so much pain that I didn't even hear that he hadn't mentioned that over the phone. My luck was that the surgeon actually was on site in the hospital and he was able to make the surgery very, very fast. The last thing I remember was just that they were putting the thing, the mask on top of me and uh, I think like five seconds later, I blacked out. I woke up like two or three hours later I was really confused, I had no idea where I am and uh, afterwards I found out that I was really lucky and they were able to remove the cyst and they were able to untwist the ovary. So basically my ovary was dying because it wasn't getting any blood and they said that if I would have waited longer it could have been so bad that they should have removed my ovary. Yeah, I was really hesitant to go to the hospital because I really don't like to dramatize the situations, but I'm really glad that everyone told me to go. And um, yeah, if I would have gone an hour later and suffered at home alone, um, the situation could have been much, much worse. Since it was the Corona uh, time, uh, no one was able to visit me and uh, I had to stay in the hospital for three days. Yeah, I really couldn't sleep well, the bed felt really uncomfortable, but it's probably because I just had pain everywhere. I was not allowed to shower. Since I never had an operation, I didn't really know how stitches would even look like. With the modern technology, the stitches are extremely small. They just make like three really small incisions. I was told that it pretty much in a year it would be totally not visible. A few months later, my scars are still quite red and um, the doctor told me to put a lot of sun cream if I will be going out especially to those places because otherwise they will turn brown but to be honest I think I will not expose them to the sun at all because I just might forget to put sun cream on so and then pretty much um, three days later when I got out of the hospital I was not allowed to like carry anything couldn't work out you know couldn't do any physical exercise and I pretty much had to still be like in bed most of the day and um, take it easy, recover. And for me it took me around like a week to really start feeling better. I started going on some walks. Two weeks later already I started to do some light workouts. I think to end this video I just want to encourage uh, everyone but especially girls to Go to your doctor checkups, you know, take care of your health. Um, I know at the time it seems like, you know, you don't have time, it's not important and everything seems okay, but then, you know, there might be things that you are not aware of and the earlier you realize about them, the better. Yeah, take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video.